So it's Migration Panic Week again. The first asylum seekers have been put on board the Bibby Stockholm in Portland. And when Stephen Kinnock over the weekend said that Labour would not be able to get people out of, out of camps and barges immediately... This got turned into the headline, Labour will use migrant barges as if it was a major decision. Did he mean it? And are Labour now stuck in a bidding war? And who can be the meanest to migrants? Well, I mean, you... I don't know if you watched the actual interview. I'm never up that early. <laughs> he Literally what Kino said was, we will work as quickly as possible to get people out of hotels and off barges. Sounds to fair. To which the Sky <laughs> presenter responded, so you will keep using the barges. And he said, well, we'll inherit a mess and we can't just magic everyone <laughs> somewhere else on day one. Labour to leave dog Cue headline. Floor. Yes. I mean, it, hugely overinterpreted. They probably don't particularly mind it, to be honest, because... Uh, people who are uh, sort of leftists who are interested in politics have probably heard this explanation already a dozen times. And people further out that uh, uh, maybe Labour are trying to attract are just seeing that big headline. So, but, I mean, it's just grossly overinterpreted. And I think it denotes a stance on the part of the press. They really are out to get Labour at the moment. Um, and they're really not satisfied with anything that sounds reasonable, mm. which I think will be a huge problem going forward. Because, you know, we've become accustomed to such profound state dysfunction that if you look at areas like Brexit or housing mm. or immigration, to say that the solution is build more houses, improve our relationship with the EU, process the claims in a, in a timely way. It sounds almost glib, yeah. right? It sounds like it couldn't be that simple or this lot would be doing it. You ex the, the public have come to expect some sort of magical, very clever solution. You know, we will pack everyone up and send them to Ascension Island. Well, this is what I want to ask you about. What did you make of the Home Office backpedaling frantically to say, well, we're not really going to send anybody to Ascension Island? It just seemed to like that was another one that seems to generate itself. There's, listen, there, I think this is one story that we are very, very safe to ignore. I think I can say. It. I mean, it, look, they announced they would be looking at barges two and a half years ago. They bought the Bibi Stockholm in uh, 9th of April this year, and they've they've only just put the first handful of people on it. So, how long do you think it will take them to set up? immigration camps on some uninhabited island in the Pacific, clear it through the courts and st start sending people there before the next election? I'm not setting me clock for it. Yes.